And I know she'll be there for me, at least we'll both be known And she'll always get the best of me, the worst is yet to come But at least we'll both be beautiful and stay forever young This I know, yeah, this I know She told me Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Um, It's the holidays right now and I'm about a week old a few days to my um, clinical attachment and I feel like I want to get ready like you know put on beat up my face with full makeup but I've got nowhere to go and my husband is super busy so I've got my eyebrows ready beforehand I'm using the ABH deep Pearl pomade in chocolate beforehand I'm going to start off with the eyeshadows so I'll be using a cut this is my favorite. Um, yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna go straight to my crease. So I'm gonna take this crease brush by Real Technique, and I'm gonna start off with um, vintage. Okay, next up, I'll um, covering the outer V, outer lid of my eyes. So I don't tap my eyeshadow but I'm more of pressing it again because when I tap the excess powder just fall out and it just it won't get that very thick uh pigmented look that I want so I'm tap onto my palette and just push it again to get most of it onto my brush. That's my technique. Yeah so I'm gonna go back to my brush just now I'm gonna get a bit of the vintage then this time I'm gonna blend these two shades together so it looks natural so I've got the two colors down set this is my concealer I always use this for eye for my face this Full coverage, I love this. This is by Hourglass. So I'll be taking this BH brush in 112. This is the concealer brush. So I'm gonna dip it into this brush and I'm gonna uh, conceal the lid. So this is what it looks like after I conceal the lid. Um, I always conceal the lid because um, with this concealer, it really picks up the color, the pigment that I really want. Now that's done, I'm gonna go with maybe drama. So I'm gonna pick up this brush in 103, BH brush in 103. I'm gonna pick up a drama. It's a very reddish brown of the look. So I'm gonna put this into the outer lid. That's done. I'm gonna go back with my these two brushes. I'm gonna blend out. So once I blend everything, it's just the middle lid and the inner lid. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna pick up this Neil Technic brush. Um. Uh, it's the shading brush. Um. Maybe I'm gonna go with a goldish kind of look so I'm gonna go with this so I'm gonna cover this um, from the inner to the middle lid speaking of that I'm gonna go back to this brush and blend everything out Ta-da! it's almost done and see um i look a bit sick with this look with a foundation so um now i'm gonna go with my inner lid so i'm gonna use this makeup revolution a golden sugar okay this is a very good palette because it has all the things that you need it has the highlights brush sorry blush and as well as contour so i'm gonna go with this liner tip is it what it's called oh, sorry it's a line 
fine line of brush but uh, uh, real technique so I'm gonna go with these shades and the highlight so I'm gonna conceal the inner corner of my lip so once I've got that done I'm gonna go back to the bottom lid I'm gonna go back with the brush that I've used one or two just now so I'm gonna the remaining color I'm just gonna strap it un under the lid so I'm almost done with my eyeshadow. Oh gosh, I look so dead. I look super sick now. So I'm almost done. I'm gonna go back and touch on my eye after I finish my face. So I finished my all uh so I finished my eyeshadow. So I'm now gonna go back and touch up my eyebrow. So going back just now, I'm gonna go and use this same concealer, hourglass concealer, to conceal the eyebrow and as well as to highlight um, my brow bone as well. So I've got my brow done. As you can see, this shade, this um, concealer shade is a tone lighter if you can see it's actually in shade natural um it's one tone lighter i've gone darker tanner from sun tan so yeah that explains that totally explains why <laughs> so i'm gonna use this um concealer and the same brush uh 112 the concealer brush ph concealer brush i'm gonna conceal my under eye so I always conceal my under eye because of all the eye bags I have from countless of no sleep and as well as I have freckles. That's one thing about me. I have no idea why but I have freckles on my skin. So it's I always conceal here so I look more Malayish. I have no idea why. Today I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty because Fenty Beach. Okay, so I'm gonna pump my skin for me i always use like two to three palms this is tart uh boosting mist it's my favorite okay so i'm gonna spray it it's two of them then i'm gonna use this miracle eh, sorry the real technique brush it's gonna start doing my face gonna touch up on with my finishing powder just to make it uh, normal so it's I'm using a no filter finishing powder by NYX just gonna touch up a bit anyway um now that I'm gonna I'm done with my face I'm gonna go back with my concealer and I'm gonna touch up this under eye just close to my uh, lower lashes so now I'm gonna go back to this makeup revolution palette I'm gonna go to my contour now so for contouring I love using this real technique brush it's a sculpting brush did I pronounce it right? sculpting brush yes I know some of you guys have your own techniques of applying contour or makeup but like I've said in the beginning this is just me sharing my makeup look so uh, going back to contouring so I've done this shape all with my forehead because as you can see here I have a chunk of big forehead so I'm gonna con uh, contour it so now I'm gonna go on to contouring my nose and I'm done with my face almost so I'm gonna go back to my eye which I paused just now so one thing about me is I love doing my makeup halfway here and there like eyeliner I'm gonna use this tree Okay, so um I love tight lining my eyeliners it just make my lashes fuller and more sexy kind of look 
Now I'm gonna go on with my eyeliner. Um, I'm not gonna do a very mega ring kind of. No, I'm just gonna go in a small ring just to complement complement this eyeshadow. So first I'm gonna start off the Kat Von D, then followed by the NYX. Okay. Wow. I look so evil. Okay. So um, going back to my eyeshadow brushes just now. I think this is the gold glitter kind of so I'm just gonna touch up and blend my lower lashes, the eyeshadow. Okay, I'm almost done with my eye. So what's left will be the mascara of course. Um for see it's just so annoying sometimes to be honest, because it just keeps peeling off at the side and it keeps poking my eye it's so annoying so I give up with falsy I I only go with falsy sometimes when I feel like my falsies are super nice to me and I'll go with them but not if not I'm just gonna get my color this has been a lifesaver this is the one that always makes my normal mascara looks like I'm wearing falsy I'm gonna start off with this touch light Camera Lash Mascara Now I'm going to start off with this as a base Then follow up, I'm going to use this NYX Double Stack Nylon Fib Nylon Lash Fibers I'm so sorry, I have no idea why I get this done Crystal And then lastly, I'm going to go with this Mascara Base and Top Coat I'll be going to my I'm gonna go with my bronzer first then follow by, by my blush then lastly highlighter okay I always go with this hourglass it's an ambience luminous bronze highlight sorry light sorry it's in this kind of shade yeah so so nice Um, this is my number one favorite blush ever. It's a NARS Orgasm Blush. Um, this came out in 2016. I remember May 2016. May, April 2016. May 2016. I got my hands on this XL size. Look how thick it is. Yeah, if you have ever shopped to a uh, NARS before I bought their um, blusher you know that their size is like probably half of this it's very small but I've got my hands on their limited edition NARS Orgasm okay this is, has been my favorite favorite blush ever since then yep I hit the pen but I still want to use it because it's so favorite but I've checked back last year when I wanted to get a new one um it turns out that they don't have it anymore and they have it anymore in excel size in this large edition limited edition so i'm actually sad because this is my favorite blush ever since i started makeup and it's just so sad so now i'm going to go with my blusher so i'm using this BH Cosmetics Blush in 106 is a fluffy powder blush. Behind this blush is basically their slogan is what makes you blush. So their idea of having this NAS orgasm is to make you as natural as you can be as though you're blushing to yourself, like something natural, like um peachy carol kind of look with a hint of glitter this is a very beautiful look look at that no this is not a sponsored 
post about NAS is just me sharing about my favorite product, okay? This is my number one favorite. So I'm just sharing with you guys. It's not a sponsored post, okay? Go with my highlighter. And this is my Fenty Beauty, okay? Um, I'm using a Mean Money and Hustala Baby, okay? This is a kilowatt highlighter. It's so nice. You can see I'm such a mess. Yeah, but it's so beautiful. All the misery is necessary when we're deep in love. Is I know, you don't know. She told me the word. I'm gonna go with my lipstick, okay? Um, I have these three lipstick that was sent to me by NYX. It was sent to me last year. Yeah, thank you so much Nick Singapore for sending me a couple of other Nick stuff and I'm so sorry I have not used them before. I just opened this up and swatched them a few hours ago. But I'm gonna swatch it again for you guys to see. So um I have these three colours. Um tone first. Um it's actually new if you can see. I've never used this before. So this is in pink. Then next will be the purple. Let's see, I've never used it before. The one is for clean. And last will be the speed of light. I've used this for. So this is what it looks like under the light because there's a direct source of light of me. So um I think I'm gonna go with Speed of Light. So I'm gonna go with this NYX Cosmic Metal Lip Cream in Speed of Light. Let's apply this to my lip. First of all, is to set my face. I don't use setting powder, I just realized that. Oh shit! Setting spray. Again, it's the same part. Same one I've been using earlier. Uh, marine boosting mist it's really good i love this because it's four in one mist it's not only for setting spray you can use it as your primer your refresher and your moisturizer as well so i'm going to use this as a setting spray to just finish up my lip so anyway um to finish off my look i'll be using this innisfree moisturizing oil serum so this is for dry hair so if you see me, I have like a very dry, fizzy hair, like three ends. I'm gonna use three pumps. It smells so good. So I'll recommend you guys to get this um, oil serum from Innisfree. So I'm just gonna do the ends of my hair and my fringe as well. So that's it. That's the end. Almost. End of my makeup look. I have no idea how much time I spend, maybe hours, but usually I spend so much time just to get this one look out. What do you think? Like, ladies, this is the only time you can admire yourself each time you do your makeup. Like, who else would, right? Like, you can't depend on other girls, other people, or even your boyfriend, husband to like admire all the time. So, this is how you gain your own self confidence. Trust me, each time I finished a full glam makeup, I'll always admire myself that I'll just snap a selfie and send to my husband or I'll just snap a selfie and share with you guys. If you guys have been following me on Snapchat, it's the only time I get so glam and so myself. I'm so extra, yeah. So um, anyway, if you guys would like to try out the products that I've been using on my face, all are listed below this video okay everything is listed below um, and of course if um, you have any ideas of what makeup look i should try on or if you have anything to share with me just leave it in the comment below and i'll reply to you guys like i've said before um 
there is no right or wrong in this makeup video i'm just sharing with you guys totally sharing with you guys how i do my makeup look but if you guys have like any ways that you guys will share with me maybe i can try your ways instead of doing my own maybe i just leave it down in the comment below i'll give you a shot and try and see how don't forget to like this video and as well as to subscribe me and support me <laughs> I have no idea why I decided to go on YouTube back after so long. <laughs> and I'll see you on my next video very, very soon, okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much. This is me, Sikiology, signing out.